My name is Paul Taylor. I'm Ron Millett. My name is Bo Sorensen. My name is Lindy Taylor. My name is Alice Harwood. My name is Dan Lindsay. Hi, my name is Brad Daw. My name is Dan Hone. I urge the City Council. And I urge the Orem City Council. To put on the ballot this the November. to allow the voters. I am impressed with the City Council giving us an opportunity to voice our I'm feelings. to see that we get the Orem School District on, on the, the ballot, ballot November. by November. On the November ballot. Hi, my name is Rochelle Sorensen, and I hope that you will put this issue on the November ballot so that we can have a chance to vote on it. This is an idea whose time has come. Right now we're being proactive. We're able to forge our own destiny and say we want Orem School District to be a school district for Orem citizens by Orem citizens. An Orem School District could change many things by bringing decisions down to the level of the community. If we create the Orem School District now, we're stepping out. If we do not act now, then we will end up being acted upon. We're saying, you know, let's solve the problem before there is a real problem. I think there's tremendous growth in the Alpine School District. There has been. The last five years, it's been over 7,000 students. Let's create a good district now and have our own community and be our own district now before we get to the point where the school growth and the growth in the North County uh, puts us in a reaction mode. And they project the next four years to be over 8,000 students. Puts us in a mode where we're just trying to stay ahead of the problem. The recommended size of a school district is 10,000 students. We've almost added a whole new school district in the next few years. When it comes to the average best size of a district, let me throw out a couple statistics. First of all, if we take all the school districts in the United States, divide them by their student population, you'll find that the average is 3,000 students. I believe that in a smaller district, it's much more likely that the administration of the district will be able to be aware of the individual needs of schools. And when you have a say, you also are more willing to put out the work to make it happen. So I think it goes hand in hand. It's what our whole government was based on in the first place, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And all of a sudden, if we start feeling like our government is removed from us and we are the peons and we don't have a say, then we don't really want to invest in that either. We're not that interested in being a part of that organization. Uh, a school district should be responsive. I would say the Alpine School District has not been responsive. Talked to, to then Governor Levitt. Shared with him some concerns I had with committees at school levels. And schools were being financially rewarded for parental involvement. But the reality is that those committees are so loaded, so lopsided, parents have no power I would say that it definitely has gotten to the point where there are so many people that they truly cannot respond to the needs of individual parents, at least not in my case. Evidence of the dissatisfaction with the Alpine School District is evidenced by the explosive growth of charter schools in the area. Alpine School District has had more charter schools per student than any other district in the state. I have a master's degree in music. I know a lot about teaching children. I know a lot about how they learn. I know a lot about the order in which they learn. I know a lot about you have to put this before they can really appreciate that. And I tried to express some of those views and just help them see where some of the holes might be in their thinking, not that the whole thing was bad, but I really didn't feel that anyone could really hear me. And the only person that I got to hear me was one of the teachers, and she was too afraid to change because she was worried that her job might be in jeopardy. And she told me not to let anyone know that she sympathized with my views. And they're getting filled to capacity immediately upon opening. Now, there's got to be a reason for that. We uh, actually ended up going to a private school last year to kind of help remediate some of the problems that had been caused, which incidentally helped Tremendously. There's got to be a lot of people who are not satisfied with the education they're getting at Alpine. We, we also have a child that we're trying out in charter school because simply we would like to be part of the decision making. We would like to be part of making the curriculum work for our family. So they're voting with their feet to go to charter schools. Smaller school districts have more parental participation than the large ones. The ramifications of a local Orem school board, to me, is responsibility. They would be in the community. 
they would be more approachable because they are my neighbors? The school board would have more chance to be in touch with the principals. We as parents will be much more likely to be represented on those school boards. They would be more available to me to discuss issues, to share concerns. I feel like that as each um, school board member is representing a smaller number of people, they are more accountable for the decisions they're making and therefore they become more responsive. The school board membership will be parents and we will be able to see more reason to participate in the school board level, uh, have more of a chance to affect policy than we could if we were running for a school board position in such a large district as Alpine. An Orem School District Board would be comprised of our friends and neighbors. They would be someone close to us that would know us and we would feel a lot more comfortable going to them and, and telling them of what our concerns are with our children. I think that with Alpine School District's headquarters being so far away and with them holding board meetings in schools in Eagle Mountain and Lehigh, Orem parents don't have a say in what goes on in those board meetings because nobody is going to travel 45 minutes to an hour to get to a school board meeting, especially with the busy lives that people have today. And currently, it's very, very difficult to fight your way through the layers to get anyone to hear. To attend school district meetings are both inconvenient and often uh, require some distance to travel to. If we had a local school board, just as I attend the city council meetings, when there's an issue that is very important to me, I would attend the school board meeting. The people on the board would be much closer to the schools here in Orem, and therefore they would know the problems and be more involved in solving those problems. I do have grandchildren that are in this school district, and I would be very interested in finding out the views of the people setting policies. I've also voted for members, but I see there's no opposition uh, as far as who to vote for when an election process comes. Maybe there's no interest in it. I believe the fact is is that when you see the representative role being so large for any member of the Alpine School District, who would want to take on such a large uh, population to be a member of a school board? That would be not a part-time job, but a full-time job. And the result would be, if it's not full-time, that there wouldn't be the response necessary to the families. If we had a smaller school district, I might even be willing to run for the school board someday. It's much more manageable. They have fewer students that they are over, fewer schools. They can become more involved with the principals, more involved with the students, more involved with parents. It's much less of a full-time job and something that I think more people would be willing to run for. Therefore, as voters, we have a bigger pool to choose from. I believe that the special needs would be met even more specifically. We had a daughter uh, have trouble actually over the past few years and her needs were barely even touched. You know I have a, a constituent who has a child that is autistic and she has had to work very hard to make sure that her child's needs are met. And we have done a lot of research and study and a lot of it's on smallerschools.org that demonstrates that schools above a certain size, about 10,000, can adequately meet the needs of special needs students. They can take care of autistic and other special needs children. I believe that Orem School District can, can be very responsive to special needs students. Uh, after all, I think as I saw the ratio was something like uh, 10 students per 1,500 students is kind of an average. That means there are a good number of special needs students already in the city of Orem. If you have a larger school district, I would suggest that maybe they would have more difficulty being able to reach those special needs than a smaller school district that could work with the parents on those issues. I believe that as a parent of a child who's had special needs, I would rather have her needs cared for by a district that's caring for 500 special needs students than a district that's caring for 5,000. I think with a smaller school district, parents and teachers and principals have more of a say in the curriculum that is taught. As opposed to in a larger school district, a lot of decisions are made that people don't even know about. Parents should have direct input into curriculum needs. Certainly if, if the parents need to get some feedback on curriculum uh, you know, to the people who are making those decisions, it's, it's more difficult again to get people's attention in these larger bureaucracies. 
You know, there's a broad range of curriculum issues. And, of course, the school board is supposed to set the curriculum priorities. Concerning curriculum, if there were a problem with a certain program, we would be able to voice our opinions about that program. And as a local, more local district, we could make the choice for a better program. Because the school district is so large, it's hard for the people's voice to be heard to say, hey, this curriculum isn't working. It's hard for, for even teachers to approach the school board and say, you know what, this curriculum is difficult for me to teach. It's hard for me to get the concepts across. I need a different method. Those people aren't heard because there's so few of them compared with the rest of the district, and they can be in large part ignored. And so curriculum issues really become part of a larger issue of just not being able to respond to the needs of parents and teachers. We ought to have a voice in how our money is spent. And our money could be spent right here on our own students, running our own programs, and developing uh, curriculum and other things that our students need. You know, whenever I talk to uh, the Alpine School Board about splitting the district, they always bring up the money issue. And of course, it's an important issue. With smaller administration, money can flow down to the students. And you know, that argument that has been used for years that we spend l less per child than any other state could really be turned around if we could spend more per child by having fewer administrators. We have a lot more high-value property in Orem and business property that other areas don't have. And so I think at the end of the day, we're looking at a wash between uh, the property tax and the weighted pupil unit. And I don't think money is going to be a big issue. Uh, I don't see that finances are, are really a critical issue in this as much as providing the education that will be so responsive to our students. Well, obviously, a, a smaller district would have much less overhead in administrative costs because there would not need to be all of those additional specialists. Uh, the best, uh, currently it would be a team leader. Uh, what's wrong with a team leader at the high school that's taking care of remedial reading issues, why could that person not also function as a resource person to other schools? Why does it have to be a separate district position? And all of those district positions, all of them 100 percent, cost the taxpayers more than the classroom teacher. But where is the action taking place? Where is the effect occurring? It's occurring at the classroom level. It's interacting with kids. We could get the money into the classroom because we have the vote and if we don't like the way it's being handled we can change it. I don't know all the issues with respect to that bond but I do know this that there's some indication that the rest of the district has started to look at Orem as a cash cow. I believe over five years, ten years, and twenty years we'll see a decline in school age population in Orem if there isn't a break away from, from North County and we'll see an increasing growth in North County and we'll basically serve as a money pool to fund educational expansion in North County and we risk stagnation in our community and in our educational efforts. As a mother, I really want to know that the money that my husband and I are spending in taxes is going to my children in my city. In fact, I may get kicked out of Orem for saying this, but I'd even be willing to pay slightly higher taxes if I knew that that money was going to my children. I doubt that many people in this district know that the current superintendent of the Alpine School District earns greater than $10,000 dollars a month. Can a superintendent really be able to respond to students and to the parents' needs if there's so many schools in this district? I don't think so. I think an Orem school district that would set some internal policies. We're going to have parents involved. We're going to have administrators be involved in the classroom. You can do that in a small district. I remember again growing up in Shelley, Idaho uh, with a small school district. Um, I knew the principals and the superintendent's name. Uh, Mr. Hobbs was our superintendent. And we saw him on a regular basis. In the Alpine School District, 
When was the last time the superintendent visited every school in the district? During one entire year. And so I got to believe that what I saw in my experience as a student would translate to other school districts if they were small enough to create that kind of a personal developing relationship. How can they make a difference if they're never with the kids? The Orem School District can be one of the greatest school districts we have. It can provide an education that's both unique for the students. Again, parent involvement, along with the responsive school district, can make us as fine a school district as any in the nation, and for that matter, anywhere in the world. An Orem School District that is, that is energetic, that is full of parental involvement, will draw great families to Orem. It will, it will bring the community closer. I believe people would come to Orem and we would find that people would move into this valley if we had a better school system. There's no question about it. I myself would be one that would want to move to wherever the best school district could be to raise my children. I want to be in a school district that's going to be solid, that my children are going to have a great education and that will prepare them for their lives ahead. That a strong educational program can provide incentive for new families to move into Orem. We want this to be something that we're proud of, that our children are proud of, and that really it, uh, it's something that, that they can look back and they can say, I was in one of the best school districts in the nation. By having a strong, vibrant, and community responsive uh, school district here in Orem, we can bring new people into Orem who will help revitalize the community. Orem is a family-centered community, and the school district should be the same. Orem is Family City USA. I love that title. I'm proud of that title. You know, families drive education. Families are what make education great. And so if we're Family City USA, the Orm Unified School District, by definition, should be the best school district in the state, if not the nation. People should be able to look at the Orm Unified School District and flock here so they can get their kids into our schools. I just really like this idea. I think it's going to benefit our community greatly, benefit the children of this community, the families. Everything's going to benefit. This is an idea whose time has come. We've got an opportunity to create something that, that's going to take a generation of people and elevate them to levels that we can't even comprehend. And it's going to happen.